Let's begin the basic yoga cooldown on your back. With knees bent so your feet are flat on the mat. Pull your heels in close so you can reach down and barely graze them with your fingers. Feet are hip distance apart. For bridge pose, tuck your tailbone up to the ceiling and lift your hips off the mat. Peel your spine off the mat. Keep the hips pressing up, knees pressing forward, and feel the weight transfer into your shoulders. You can stay here or add a chest expansion by interlacing your hands underneath you. Wherever you are, root your forearms into the mat and press the weight down evenly through all the edges of your feet. Take a few deep belly breaths and watch the rise and fall of your belly. Slowly lower one vertebra at a time and keep your hips tucking up for a long lower back. Once your hips come all the way down, let your knees fall open for Supta Baddha Konasana and place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Allow your inner thighs to soften. On your next exhale, pull your knees together and bring your right knee to your chest. Extend your left leg long down on the mat. Focus less on pulling your knee into your ribs and more on the subtle stretch in your lower back. Reach your right arm 90 degrees out from your side and pull your knee across the body for a supine spinal twist. Turn your chin to the right and as you breathe, focus on grounding your right shoulder blade down to the mat. Slowly come back to center and pull both knees in. Rock out small circles on your lower back. And when you're ready, just switch sides. Left knee pulls in while the right leg extends out long. Reach your left arm 90 degrees out from your side, then move into your twist. Turning your chin in opposite direction from your knee so you can twist through the entire spine. Deepen your breath. Make your way back to center and pull both knees in for happy baby pose. Grab the inner arches of your feet and spread your ankles open. 
You want your tailbone grounding down so your back is flat. Then you can add movement like rocking side to side. If your hips are peeling up, then consider grabbing your ankles or calves instead as a modification so you can get that lower back flat. Release the ankles and squeeze yourself into a tiny little ball. Forehead towards your knees. Squeeze every last bit of tension out and then release into your final Shavasana. Take up some space. Walk your shoulder blades away from the ears. And with your eyes closed, allow your entire body to completely soften. Just breathe. You're welcome to stay here, but if you're ready to come out now, just wiggle out your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists, then curl up on one side into a fetal position, and use your top hand to press yourself up to seated with your hands at heart center. The light and the teacher in me honors the light and the teacher in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in this cool down and next time try pairing this with a basic yoga warm up for a complete practice. And check out my beginners playlist. See you soon.